Hello and welcome. In this training video, we're going to show you how to conduct a head to toe assessment. In this case, Albert's fallen backwards. He's got a bump to the back of his head and he's got some lower back pain. So we're going to keep him very, very still. We've already conducted a primary survey, checked his airway. I've uh, checked him over to stop any blood loss and I'm just waiting for the ambulance to arrive. In the 10, 15 minutes for ambulance to arrive, it is important now that we'll start at the head, finish at the toes and see if there's no other injuries such as blood loss that may not have shown up immediately on my first assessment. So my gloves are on just in case we have some bleeding. We start at the head and run your hands through the hair like so and just feeling around uh, to make sure if there's no other injuries or any other pain. Please note that Albert does have dark hair so check your gloves regularly. Visual disturbance. We'll see how his vision is. How many fingers do I hold there? Three. Lovely. And now? One. Excellent. So his focus is okay. Now I'm going to check that the eyes are tracking evenly and just gently keeping your head still. Thank you so much. And what I'm doing right now with Albert is just making sure that the eyes are moving evenly. We look inside the ears now to see if there's any fluid, a cerebrospinal or blood. We'll check around the back of the neck just gently. Um, and we'll uh, assess his facial area, make sure there's no injuries. We're now gonna look at his upper extremity. Uh, we're gonna start at the collarbone and work his way down systematically. So, feeling along the collarbone, any pain, Albert? No. Any pain coming to the shoulder? No. Any pain, no. uh, the upper arm, into the elbow? Now, please note I'm looking around the full circumference. Any pain, forearm? No. Any pain into the wrist? No. We repeat the process. I want to make sure that he's got good, firm, even pressure on both uh, upper limbs. So what I'll do, I'll place a finger in here, two fingers in there, squeeze firmly, lovely. And what we've got here is firm, even pressure. We can now come to what's called the rib cage or the thoracic region. Now, particularly with females here, we need to make sure that we have a good rapport and communication. Place your hands around to the side of the rib cage, not to the front. So Albert, is it okay if I put my hands around to the side of the rib cage? We just gently hold that there, take a deep breath and out. Excellent work. And again, we're feeling if any pain, etc. We come into the abdominal region. Once again, uh, not that important to know where things sit, but your, uh, your liver's in the upper right. There's your stomach, the intestines around your stomach, around your uh, belly button. Where your belt buckle would be would be your bladder. And if you've got one just to the right of that, there would be your appendix. Again, it's a private area. Um, and we just would only check this if you suspected that there was pain in this area. So I feel just gently around that. In the event that there are uncomfortable and injuries allow, get them to feel around this area um, so that they feel more comfortable. We now come to the pelvic area. So I'm going to now feel just gently around these bones here. Now this is where your belt would sit and you just gently push in any pain, push down any pain. We now come to the genital region. Of course private areas and private areas remain private. Only check if there is a presence of blood or other injuries if there was pain. In this case, if there was, I'd get Albert under strict privacy to check in those areas. We're now going to look at the outside of the leg and we'll run ourselves down the leg, into the lower leg, into the ankles and into his toes. So we start on the outside now. We feel on the outside any pain, any pain. I, as I come about halfway down the thigh, I'll come the full circumference into the knee. Make sure you're covering the full uh, area of, uh, of the lower extremity. Any pain through here, any pain into the ankle, any pain into the toes. Please note that Albert is wearing dark clothing, so check your gloves regularly. Repeat the process onto uh, the other side. We now come down into the feet. Like we did with the hands, we want to make sure that, uh, that there is even pressure here. Albert, push down into my hand. Beautiful. Pull your toes up. Rotate in rotate out. Wonderful. And what we've just checked to make sure that from the ball and socket joint all the way down through to here is present. So that's a head to toe assessment. There's one area I haven't checked and that's around the back. Remembering that he's got lower back pain so we don't want to uh, move him. So I might just check just gently around the back uh, to see if there's any presence of blood that I have to access. So that's a head to toe assessment to be done on more serious cases of injuries. Once you've uh, checked the primary survey, controlled any bleeding, and it's applicable to the accident, start at the head, finish at the toes, and make sure you haven't missed anything. I'm Ori, this is Albert, that's a head to toe assessment. We'll see you soon. Thanks for your time. Bye for now.